Hello everyone. So now we are going to learn how we can install the Cisco Eyes in the VMware Workstation. In our previous video, we already learned the how we can install in the EVNG. Okay. So here, this is a VMware Workstation. I am using this one. Your wish, if you want to use the VMware Workstation or VMware Player, your wish, whatever you want, you can use. Just go in the file and click open and then uh, I have this file you can download from the Cisco website. I have this IS 2.7.0 this version I am using. You can use we have all uh, same uh, feature only some extra things we have later we will see that one. Whatever image you can download from the website Cisco website you can download. So if you see we have here Cisco IS 2.7 and this is a OVA file okay OVA file I am using if you see here this is a open virtualization this one okay let me show you this one open virtualization format distribution package okay so I am using this one just double click here it will open and it will ask you where it need to install I am taking C drive it is in, uh, going to install by default wherever we have the location it is going to install the location by default. I will not change if you want you can uh, change the location also. And whatever name you want to give you can give I will write here Cisco IS 2.7. Okay, I will remove this and I have already one version. So instead of uh, this one I will write Cisco IS 2.7. Uh, maybe 2 or something I will write because before I install this one so I will write Cisco eyes here I will write eyes too okay just to differentiate because already I have here this one so I am writing Cisco eyes to whatever name you want to give you can give here and this is a default location just press next okay and whatever is coming default setting take that one press import wait some time it will take uh, some time depending upon your RAM and your processor speed it will take time we need to wait and it will import then we need to do some minor setting after that we can do the configuration setting if you remember before we discuss we told the configuration setting this one right in EVNG same thing we need to do here also here I, I will put the Cisco IS2 and IP I will design depending upon what IP I have in my NAT if I show you let me check here if I go here in the virtual network we will check what is my NAT so we can prepare that one till it import. If you see I have 192, 168.65.0 okay 65. My NAT cloud is 65 so this is okay I will write 192, 168.65.200 okay and this is a default subnet mask we are going to give this one this is our default gateway. DNS we can give google.com later we will change no issue and the primary name server we will give this same as a default gateway and username we can give anything I will give admin password I will give abc$12345 okay with this one we will check the status of the application if you want to change IP we can change also if you want to give 201 you can give 201 because before I install here this one I give this IP as a 200 so here for this machine if you want to give another IP for redundancy purpose later so we can give any other IP also. Anyhow, let me give here 201. Okay. So this is the our plan. We are going to follow this plan. We will give name as a IS2 and we will give the IP address 192.168.65.201. And this is a subnet mask and this is a gateway. Gateway is nothing but our NAT. This one I am uh, taking this IP from the NAT only. You need to check what is the network, what is NAT network this is my NAT network okay this is my NAT network so I am taking the same thing I will not use 1 and 2 because my NAT is using that one so I am using the 201 okay this is for ICE and 201 uh, this is 1 that is 65.1 will be default gateway okay so let's see uh, it will take some time to export this one okay you need to wait maybe depending upon your RAM speed it will take 5 minutes 3 minutes or 10 minutes we need to wait for that one so if you see here now it will finish within 2-3 uh, second 
okay let's see now it is finished okay and if you see this is a setting we have if you want to edit you can click this one okay i click this one edit virtual this one here it is taken 16 gb ram in my laptop i have 32 gb ram so no issue for you for me but if you have your laptop maybe 16 gb ram you can reduce to 8 gb ram okay and the processor we can give two i can give two here or I can give one also. This is a virtual machine. I uh, virtual hard disk, 300 GB. I will keep like this. And the first adapter here, first adapter I will click uh, NAT here, NAT only because I am going to connect to my laptop. I am going to use this one. This uh, I will use in the GNS3 as well as EVNG. I can connect. So that's why I will take this one as a NAT. Okay. And this remaining adapter we don't need. I will remove. Later we can add also. Okay. So just select here and click remove, okay, remove, 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 remove. So now we have only one adapter here that is a NAT. I connected this uh, uh, adapter to NAT and here we have two processor. Here we have 16 GB RAM and this is our hard disk, virtual hard disk. If you want to change this one as a one also, you can change no problem. Okay, this is the setting. I will press OK. After that, we need to start this one. So we will say start. We will start this one. Then it will load and it will take some time. We need to set up. We need to set up this configuration. Okay. This configuration we need to set up. So if you see here, we, we it will load. Here it will take some time. Okay. First time you will have please type setup to configure the application here. So what we will do, we will write here setup. Setup I will write and I will press enter. If you see it will come here in the blue. Okay. So what we will do here we will type what we decided host name we decided uh, ice2. So we need to type ice2. So what I will do I will write here ice2 is the host name and IP address. IP address we decided 192.168.65.201. Okay. Let me write something came here. 192. 2.168.65.201 okay as per our plan if you have any confusion see here this is my NAT network I am following the same network so should we have in the same network we can communicate okay later if you want to change to change but now follow the same steps check your NAT address and follow same steps to set up this one so what I done 192.168.65.201 and then subnet mask press enter here I will press enter here let me click here and press enter and the subnet mask I will write 255.255.255.0 and then gateway default gateway 192.168.65.1 okay and IPv6 I don't need IPv6 I will press enter and the default DNS domain default DNS if you see here what we planned default this one DNS is google.com so we will follow this one only I will write here google.com later we will change and primary name server we told we will give as our default gateway later we are going to change okay so I put that one and secondary we no need I will press enter NTP server no need and another NTP server no need and uh, time I will press enter SSH I need yes so I will press Y and I will press enter and username as with uh, plan admin so I will press enter and password capital A B C dollar one two three four five as we plan I will press enter then I will write capital A B C dollar one two three four five I will press enter two time we need to keep okay after that it will start loading it will configure itself we need to wait okay so let me show you what we done till now we follow first step okay we follow this step this is finished we follow this one we follow this one this this all are finished this one also finish now we need to type this command and check if this application when we type this command if it is running then we can type this IP not this one this IP the size uh, Cisco ice IP in our browser okay if we want to ping we can ping from our uh, 
what we can say from our eyes we can ping this one or from our command prompt we can ping this ip to verify they are able to communicate or not okay it will take time okay if you see here automatically it is configuring we need to wait we need to wait for some time okay let me show you here also if you see here my uh, default gateway is giving the error so let's verify what is my default gateway i will go here i will click uh, virtual network okay and then i will go here if you see this one after that click this nat setting if you see gateway ip is 65.2 okay for in my case 65.2 so let me correct here okay what i will do this should be 2 I will click this also too, this also too, and this also should too, because we put one. That's why we are getting the error here. So let me try now. What I will do here? Uh, we can restart this one, or we can switch off and switch on this one. Okay, I will switch off this one, and then I will switch on this one. So we can do the setup from starting. Okay. So I switch off and I will switch on then we will do the configuration from the starting because we put the wrong gateway okay so it came again so I will put here setup let me click here and type here setup it will ask us I will give the name as a ice what is ice ice to this one and the IP 192.168 let me write again we have this 192.168. Uh, 1965.201 okay then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway as we told 192.168.65.2 okay we told 2 and they are asking do you want to configure ipv6 no i need no need default dns whatever we plan here we will follow if you see here default dns what we wrote dns domain this one we wrote uh, google.com so we will follow the same thing we will write here google.com and here the uh, domain name we will use the default gateway 65.2 192.168.65.2 is a name server primary name server and secondary no need ntp no need and if you see enter the time zone whatever we have i need ssh okay then if you see here username i will write admin password as we plan capital a small b c dollar one two three four five i will press enter then again we need to type capital a b c dollar one two three four five i will press enter okay now it will take time and it will load after that we will perform the operation so we can verify this now we change okay before we give this as a dot one but this is dot two how we know because we check in our uh, what we can say we check we check in our uh, net cloud okay so here we need to wait it will show us if it is pinging to our gateway everything is okay then we can use if you have confusion just we need to go here edit virtual network adapter and here we need to verify we need to click this net and net setting and you need to check what is your net ip if you see here 192.168.65.2 okay dot two before we keep dot one so you, uh, try to make sure you have this one dot two or dot one verify this one and configure depending upon what setting you have what ip you have okay if you see here what we are getting pinging the gateway and pinging the primary server name server so now it is okay so in this scenario we need to use this setting okay in this scenario we need to use this setting follow this one okay this one if we did not write dot two we have the issue before we wrote dot one in evng we get dot one but here we have dot two okay so try to follow check in your net cloud whatever ip you have as a gateway put that one only so it will work now let me show you what we get installing application if you see we are getting installing application so it will take time okay nearly half an hour it will take depending upon your ram and the cpu if you are using ssd hard disk it will be very fast if you have the good ram else you need to wait 30 minutes so do, no, no need to worry 
if it is taking long time in your case you need to just wait okay just wait maybe 30 minutes you need to wait keep your laptop like this only for 30 minutes it will install everything after that we can do the lab okay so what i will do now i will uh, pause the video so if you see here still it is installing what we can do we can ssh so i will open the putty and in the putty i will select the ssh the port number for ssh is 22 and the ip will be 192.168 let me do 192.168 65.201 okay this ip we give to ice so i will take if you see we can ssh okay username we give admin and the password we give capital a small b c dollar 1 2 3 4 5 okay when i press i am able to log in okay what we are getting here enter the session number to resume press enter i will press enter okay so if you see i can log in the cisco eyes okay this is a putty okay with the putty i log in the cisco eyes by using ssh so here i will type show application status eyes and press enter when this is running then we can type the ip of the eyes in the browser but if you see here what we are getting nothing it is coming here so we need to wait some time and here let me show you if you see here what we are getting here running database and all this one is still uh, it is uh, starting so we need to wait okay we need to wait and here if you type here show application status eyes it will take some time then it will show you the status of the eyes okay so i will wait here we will you see here what we are getting here uh, this one the first one the database uh, this one is okay running and the database server is running we have 57 process is running application server is not running so this need to be run of when this is start running that time we can uh, type the cisco eyes ip in the browser and we can access that one okay so we need to wait some more time okay i will check again i will press enter and we will wait and we will check that one so if you see here it is taking long time first time it will take uh, maybe more than half an hour the video become lengthy so what we will do we will stop here this is a process you need to follow after that when you see this application server is running that time you can go to the any browser and type here example if i want to type here http s and here slash by then you can type here the ip of your cisco eyes example i give this ip so i will type this ip like this we need to type here okay so we need to type the ip whatever the ip here then it will start working but still it is not ready that's why we are getting like this if you see here i taken the putty software also here here also still the that application is not running it will take long time first time it will take long time so you need to wait and then go to any browser type this one https 192.168 65.201 this is a ice ip type here you will have the login prompt then you need to login okay so i will stop here in our next class we are going to continue the uh, remaining part okay thank you